Hi again, I'm Jill Wellington and I'm going to show you how to add a different sky to your photo. Many times when you're shooting a portrait or a specific thing, you want to make sure that your subject is exposed correctly and a lot of times if it's a bright sunny day that's going to blow out your sky in the background. So you'll want to add another pretty sky and sometimes you'll actually get the sky and it's kind of boring like this one. Notice that you can see the blue and there's a little bit of cloud cover but I want to add a prettier sky so I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, first of all, if you have any kind of sky, like this has some blue, you're going to want to white that out because if you add a new sky and it has a lot of white fluffy clouds, it'll look kind of dull if it has this peeking through. So first of all, let's paint out the sky. So what you do is go down here and we're going to add a layer another layer click on that and you can see it right here above your picture in your layer palette now go and grab your white brush you can get to it by toggling back and forth with these arrows you want the white on top click on your brush and go up here and make sure you have a soft edge brush and it's at 100 percent opacity now I'm going to enlarge my brush using my right bracket key. If yours is too small, use your left bracket key on your keyboard. And now we're actually going to be painting over the sky. We're painting white in. So go ahead and paint with it. But be careful around the edges here. I don't want to um, cover with that with any kind of white paint. But just kind of get the major part of the blue out of there and you can do this fairly quickly. We just want to make sure that we don't have that dull blue peeking through. So there we go. Go a little closer in there. And now you can go ahead and flatten. Use your right mouse, click on that, go down to flatten image and click on that. Now every time I'm out and about, if I happen to see a pretty sky, I'll just tilt my camera up and take some pictures and I keep a folder of sky pictures on my computer so when I have situations like this which is all the time I have sky pictures that I can use and this is one of them in fact I actually offer this sky picture for free for you to use on my blog just click on the freebies tab and find this free sky overlay but today this is I brought this into Photoshop I'm going to use my left mouse click on it up here in the palette while holding down we're going to drag it out of the palette go up here to your move tool click on this and go back to your picture with your left mouse click and while holding down you're just going to drag it right out and over this other picture you don't need this anymore so go ahead and X out of it now we just use the corner here hold down shift to keep it in perspective or you can stretch it out you can make your clouds however you want them Go ahead. The only thing we're going to cover here is right to the tree line. So I want you to just pick where you want your clouds. Now if I brought it up, the clouds would look like that up in the sky. So you're trying to look what, what looks best for your picture and I kind of want all of this in there. Don't worry if it's covering your subject. I'll show you how to deal with that later. So once you get your cloud where you want it, I like mine there. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Click apply and now go up to your blend modes right here where it says normal. Click on this and now go down to multiply. Click on this and there you can see it. Your, your new sky already. It looks pretty. Now go up to your opacity. Click on this and use the slider and you can go down a tad because it might be a little bit too bright. And now I'm going to get rid of the sky over these things that I don't want, like the subject. So I actually just, because I do this so quickly, you can use a layer mask, but I always just use the eraser tool. Click on the eraser and go in here and you're going to want to paint off the sky. Be careful if you're up here and a little bit closer, be a little bit more careful. Go around the edges and then you can enlarge your brush here and brush it right off there and that looks good go down these pillars just kind of go around there that looks good 
that one problem now with this sky, and you're going to need to look at this with every picture you take and add a new sky to, and this is the problem that I see so many new photographers do. They add this new sky and they think, wow, I have this new sky. But I want you to notice that my background is very blurred because it's far away and I used a short depth of field. So, but look at the clouds are all in focus you really want to match this so that it matches the blurriness of your background. So how you do that, go up to filter, click on filter, go down to blur, go down to Gaussian blur and click on that. And now we can move this up and it's going to start blurring according See how blurred that is? We want to just match it to whatever your background is. So yours isn't going to be the same as mine. Mine won't be the same every time. So I kind of want to have a little bit of that I can tell. Like if you go up too high, you really can't even see the new sky. So I always maybe go a little bit lower so that I can see the shapes of the clouds. But see how that kind of blends in with the blur of the background? That's what you're looking for and you really want to make sure you do that. You can always tell if someone didn't understand that and theirs is still in focus. But go ahead and click OK. And you can play around with the opacity if you want to be a little lighter. Or go back a little darker. And I always add the sky before I add any kind of actions. That way your sky will be all part of your action that you play. But it is that simple to add a sky. So start adding skies and really punching up your pictures.